Members of the Minnesota Nurses Association are protesting in Bemidji late on this Tuesday afternoon. Looks like a wet afternoon in Bemidji. Uh, streaming video here from the Minnesota Nurses Association. They're protesting retaliation by Sanford Bemidji Medical Center against workers who have tried to protect themselves from the COVID-19 virus, according to a, their statement. Now, according to the Minnesota Nurses Association, they're rallying around one of their own, Tonya Moss, a registered nurse who has been, was disciplined by Sanford Management. Moss was trying to arrange for alternative housing for health care workers to quarantine themselves. Sanford had told workers they could stay at a local motel at their own expense for more than $90 per night, which many workers can't afford. Nurses and other workers who take part in the picket will be on their off hours. No workers will leave their jobs to attend, and no patient care will be affected. Now, here's a statement from Joy Johnson, Vice President of Operations at Sanford Health. Quote, Every three years, Sanford Health in Bemidji and the Minnesota Nurses Association Labor Union negotiate a new contract for union members covered by MNA. Currently, we are in collective bargaining, and we are committed to continuing and look forward to achieving mutual agreement. It is very important to remember that Sanford Bemidji Medical Center has yet to provide care in the hospital or ER to a COVID-19 positive patient. Sanford has also been the only major health system in Minnesota who has not laid off any employees, including nurses, during the state-ordered shutdown. Instead, we paid union and non-union staff to cross-train in other areas of care, as well as perform alternate work tasks. During the same time, Sanford has covered the full premium cost of health insurance through June and given cash bonuses to all hourly staff, including our union employees. This unprecedented decision to provide special compensation to union employees was done because we believe that all employees are an integral part of our valued Sanford family. Even though we have yet to provide inpatient hospital care to COVID-19 positive patients at Sanford Bemidji Medical Center, we have used the past few months to prepare for a potential surge. These preparations include repurposing space on the fourth floor of the medical center for a special care unit for COVID-19 patients and developing several procedures to keep staff staff safe, including hospital-provided and laundered scrubs for those who work on the special care unit, locker rooms for staff who choose to change or shower at work after shifts, and, if desired, access to temporary housing options at a reduced rate for employees. Um, Going down to the bottom of this statement, while we are disappointed with the Minnesota Nurses Association, we are grateful and proud of the work all of our staff have done to inspire teamwork, trust, and respect during this pandemic, providing a sincere dedication to the care and safety of all our patients and staff, unquote. Again, that was from the Vice President of Operations, Joy Johnson, as uh, members of the Minnesota Nurses Association continue to uh, protest out here by uh, Paul Bunyan Park in downtown Bemidji, Minnesota. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.